Hello adventurers! Zeth the Pyrule here, and today we are going to be reviewing, unboxing, and gameplay of... The Amiibo Link action figure! So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into this unboxing video because I can't wait to show him to you. Here we go! Okay, so look at this. This is the Amiibo Link figure. And of course, they're going to be making not just this Link, they're gonna be making Toon Link, Sheik, Zelda, and Ganondorf of, you know, Zelda figures. Smash Bros Amiibo Link. Okay, so on the front here, we got the Super Smash Brothers insignia. For the Wii U and 3DS versions, we got Link, the character name, and then the cool picture up here, and you can actually see his name, Link across the back of the box here, which is really cool. Okay, we got Nintendo. Amiibo! Insignia. Okay, and then it's like, supercharge your game, hey, collect, customize, and complete, blah, blah, blah. This figure can go up to level 50. I'm sure there'll be like updates in the future where like it can go to 100 now. Ages six and up. I don't know why. I mean, they're expensive figures and all. $13 is what I got him for. Love the packaging, because you can see everything, so you can get a good look at them. I am really excited they made these figures. Yeah, you can fight your own Amiibo character or you can use it to help you fight your friends. All right, let's go ahead and open up this awesome figure. One thing to note here, there is like a metal sensor or foil or something to stop anyone from like reading the character while he's still in the box. So that's worth noting. All right, and here we are. Awesome little Amiibo Link. Now, if you remember the original character that they promised, you know, he had a clear stand that I thought looked a little bit nicer than this like I don't know. I know they're going for like gold because you know Zelda's gold and all, but it just it kind of urine yellow. <laughs> Not the most pleasant to look at. It's stuck to his knee. But uh this this guy's awesome. Like really. Alright, here we are, nice and close up to this awesome little figure. And I just wanted to show off all the detail he has. Um I did notice with the Lynx, some of their eyes are kind of like funky. Like I saw quite a few cross-eyed and just wonky-eyed links, lonk-esque faces. I looked through quite a few and got this. I think he looks great. Other than the eyes, I noticed that he would break off of this base right here. Saw quite a few in the package where he was just like loose and just <laughs> hanging around in the box. Look at the shield detail. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Whoa. The hair is cool, it's not just one tone. They have a kind of like whitish natural blonde and then kind of the yellowish link hair blonde. They got the chainmail detail. You can see the actual engravings on the boots. The master sword looks awesome. Look at all that detail. You got his gauntlet here, his arm brace that he wears. Um, the hat is very cool. Look at the cross stitching there is even painted. I also wanted to point out that his sword is bendy. See, it's kind of rubbery so you're not gonna snap it off. And same goes for the sheep on his back. The rest of him is pretty solid plastic, pretty sturdy indeed. Nice detail, sculpted detail right here. Look at that. And then this cross stitching here and on the shoulder. I know a lot of people were complaining about when the figure came out. They weren't as good as you thought they were going to be, but I just don't see what's worth complaining about. It's as detailed as you need a figure. I mean, if we compare this guy to the World of Nintendo Link, I mean, this figure obviously has a lot more detail and he's quite a bit smaller. It's really great, Smash Bros is all about trophy figures, so what better game to use figures than Smash Bros? And of course, all the Zelda figures will be compatible with Hyrule Warriors as well, which is what I'll show you guys soon. You see, you can see Link's earring there, um, and even this gap in his tunic where the chainmail is showing through. I just, I am so impressed with this detail. The buckles are painted gold and everything. I love his adventure packs back here, even they have intricate carving on them. The one complaint I have is that he's facing downward. Like he, he looks like he's staring at the ground. Like he's jumping over a puddle or something. Ooh, watch out for that puddle down there. Whoa. I think it doesn't really match up to this image here. 
that was the Smash Bros image. There you have it, the Amiibo Link figure. As for posability, he has none. So <laughs> he's just a statue figure. He's not gonna do any posability review on that. Now let's do some size comparisons. Okay, so here's our Amiibo figure. Here we got Jack Sparrow from Disney Infinity, Chop Chop from Skylanders, and Bulbasaur from Pokemon Rumble U. Okay, so there's some good size comparison to the other video game figures. Out of all of these, I really think the Amiibo are the best painted. And I would be buying these figures even if I didn't have the games to play them. I love figure games, there's no hiding it. Here's Amiibo Link in comparison to Figma Link. All right, let's show you guys some gameplay on this awesome figure. I'm gonna fire up Hyrule Warriors and show you guys what he unlocks. All right, here we go. Gameplay time. Now, on the latest update of Hyrule Warriors, there became this little note right here. It is the Amiibo insignia, meaning that Amiibo are now compatible with this game. Okay, here we go. We have Link here. Ta-da! We're gonna put him right here. And look at that. And just like that, we unlocked the ancient spinner, which you would recognize from Twilight Princess. That is awesome. The spinner. All right, let's go ahead and do some gameplay. You can bring this figure back daily for even more rewards, once a day per figure. Okay, so we're gonna go down to adventure mode, and we're going to do the Twilight map. Let's go ahead and do this one right here. I am going to play as Link, of course. And look at that, the spinner. Oh yes, and I'm the postman. Okay, so check this out. Look at this, this is cool. Oh yeah, this is fun. This is great! Just kind of bounces on everything. Alright, so there's the combos. Let's check out the big old A button combo. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can take this weapon seriously, but it's it's awesome. Gotta go fast. Alright, there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Whoa, this camera's kinda of freaking out on me. Thank you so much for watching! Please like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. Seriously guys, thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> See you next time on Zeth of Hyrule. Oh, look at this. He matches my wall scroll.